Hi, I'm Ross Hunter, Secretary of the Washington State Department of Children, Youth, and Families. Hi, I'm Stacy Gillette, DCYF's Administrator for Performance-Based Contracting. DCYF offers a lot of services, from early childhood education to family support services to juvenile justice. We want families across the state to have access to services that meet their needs, particularly in traditionally underserved communities. We also want to make sure that those services actually work, that they are of high quality, and that we're getting the outcomes that we want from what we're paying for the services. Since contractors provide many of these services, it's important for us to understand what impact they have on clients and to work together to continually improve the results. So what exactly does this mean for DCYF staff and contractors? So far, it's meant a lot of meetings and a lot of listening inside and outside the agency to prepare for the change and make sure we're headed in the right direction. Stacy's one of the DCYF employees working on this important effort and can tell you more about it. As Secretary Hunter mentioned, the Performance-Based Contracting, or PBC, project is first and foremost about listening. Listening to families, contractors, community partners, tribes, and of course, the DCYF staff who manage contracts and support contractors. We also spend a lot of time looking at data to understand the way things work now and research to identify opportunities to make improvements. The first challenge was identifying what performance elements to focus on. After a lot of listening to people and looking at data and research, we focused in on three areas of performance. What services are provided to clients, which we call services, how services are provided, which we call quality, and the results, which we call outcomes. The next challenge was figuring out a way to put the new standards into contracts. DCYF has more than 1,000 contracts for client services that invest approximately $900 million to $1 billion each biennium. So we had to organize contracts by service type and then gradually implement the new standards over time, starting with the services standard, which requires contractors to report what services were provided to each client in order to receive payment. Because we're taking time to identify meaningful performance metrics and targets by service area, it will take us multiple years to fully implement the new performance-based contracting standards in all DCYF contracts for client services. Our goal is to finish the process with all of the DCYF contract groups by July 2023. What excites me the most about this effort is that we're actually walking the talk. The project was intentionally designed to create stronger services, stronger state contractors, and ultimately stronger families. Whether you're a Washington resident receiving services, a DCYF contractor or a community partner, or a DCYF employee, you play an important role. You can find out more information about the project by following the link below, and that includes how to reach me in case you have any questions. Thank you for the work you do every day to support Washington's children, youth, and families. And thank you, Stacey.